Hi guys, welcome to another Zontel's new and updated video tutorial. For today's video, we'll be showing you on how you can switch your automated campaigns to our PGNs. First, we'll be on your keyword level and make sure that you have your custom date range set to last 60 days since Zontel's default time frame is six, last 60 days. That's how Zontel's look into your data. So how will we switch your automated PG, your automated campaigns to your PGN? I am now showing you the keyword level. These are the keywords for my automated campaign. Make sure to choose only the highly relevant keywords or the keywords that are converting from your automated campaigns. So click on the check boxes of the keywords you'll be using for your PGN. Once you've clicked on them, click on add new button and then another add new button for product PGN. Complete your PGN information such as your product name. Let's say this is K1 PGN. And then you will be asked to input your rules or your data such as your average product price, your maximum keyword spend, your target max ACoS, and so on. Now, how will we know if we are using the correct data or the correct information to input into this um, into these rules? What we will use is our interactive threshold builder. Just click on the launch interactive threshold builder right here, this one, and you will have our threshold builder window. Enter your product sale price. For this PGN, my average product sale price is at $45. I want my profit margin or my profit margin is at 40%. My expected PPC profit is at 0% since I am running this PGN for traffic and visibility. For my average CPC or cost per click, I will get this from my existing campaign data. Normally on a regular campaign, you would see your data from here. On this part, I'll be highlighting the spend and CPC. Highlight spend and CPC. That's where the column of where you will get your spend and CPC. Spend will be on the upper part of the row and in the lower part of your row for that campaign will be your CPC. Let's say your CPC for this PGN for this campaign is at 3.05. And then our average CR or average conversion rate will be the same thing. We will need to get that from our automated campaign. Make sure to use the CR7 for your threshold builder. Let's say that our average conversion rate is at 5.02. And then for the bid change speed, Leave it at 20%. That's how we would suggest to have your change speed at 20%. So leave it as it is. Lastly, how many keywords are you going to use on your initial PGN setup? Please make sure that you enter the correct keyword or the number of keywords since this will affect your PGN budget. Once you have everything set, please click on apply to see converted thresholds. Notice that once we've applied the thresholds, our threshold builder already calculated the rules for us. That's why we have this average product price. We already have the maximum keyword spend and so on. Everything is already auto-populated after we used the threshold builder. Now, there's one thing, there's one information that is not automated in here or auto-populated in here. That would be the average product rating. Average product rating, you'll need to put in your average product rating from Amazon. Let's say your product rating is at 4.7. We're unable to put or to add the decimal point, so just put in number 4 or 4. And then make sure to complete your PGN information such as your SKUs. Make sure to add in one SKU per line. One SKU per line. And then once you have your SKUs ready and your keywords that we've chosen from the keyword level earlier is now auto-populated on your keywords or target level or, um, area as well. So you just need to click on Save New Product 
and it will apply the changes and have your newly created PGN under the name K1ZTPGN. That's all as easy as that. Hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.